Hey guys, Jacob here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Battle Cat, which is supposedly going to be a crossover game between Tom Clancy's The Division, Splinter Cell, and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. First, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. I upload daily Division 2 content on like build videos, vendor resets, and overall news on the game. Keep this in mind, my upload schedule has changed, so depending on when you're watching this video, it may be back to normal or it may be scattered still. So just letting you guys have a heads up there. But like I said, today's video we're going to be talking about Battle Cat, which a lot of you guys have been wanting me to talk about for quite a while now, and that's going to be a crossover game with multiple popular Ubisoft titles. Now, this is going to be an FPS game, supposedly, that's going to be on console and PC, which is a little odd to me because most Ubisoft games, besides Rainbow Six and games like Far Cry, which a lot of you guys are probably already thinking about already, uh, which are FPS, but... Uh, a lot of people really love Rainbow Six, and a lot of people really love Far Cry, so maybe they're taking a turn on this and potentially trying to make Splinter Cell, you know, Ghost Recon, and also The Division a first-person style game. And if they do this correctly, I think this may be a very interesting game. Now, if you're not aware, we already have a game called Elite Squad, which is on mobile. That is a crossover with all these games, which I really like the art of this. It's not super, like, you know, crazy like Division, um... But this animated kind of style art, I really, really dig. And I think these characters look really, really cool. So it would be nice to see them make some kind of crossover game um, that kind of evolves around this that's more based on console and PC. Now, if they do this correctly, I think this could be a game kind of like Rainbow Six where you have multiple operatives from different branches of different games that fight against each other and have different skills and also skill sets and weapons, etc., etc., and also different kind of outfits so you can look a little different. Um, and if you had like Fae Loud, Normal Division Agents, Aaron Keener, then you had a bunch of characters like Nomad and Weaver from the Ghost Recon games and had people like you know, Fei Lau or Aaron Keener uh, from Division. They can have, like, Seekers and people who are, like, Nomad stuff can have, like, drones and stuff that can fly around and spot you. And, obviously, the Rainbow Six operatives would pretty much stay the same if they did decide to put those in there. And if you're a Splinter Cell operative, maybe use Stealth and use Night Vision goggles and stuff like that and do Stealth takedowns. And, overall, I feel like this game would be really interesting if they do it correctly. Or, if a you know, if this was, like, a PvE game, they could make it really interesting as well. Um, but, overall... I'm not exactly sure what this game is going to be shown or when it's going to be released. All we know is the fact that there are some leaked photos, which I will show you guys one real quick. This is from Zero Bytes, which I will talk about for a second here. Um, but this is the Battle Cat photo. And some I'm not going to talk about it too long. Um, because you can see here clearly, these are Splinter Cell operatives and that's a Division agent. So we pretty much know that this is going to be a crossover with these games. Um, the only thing that really kind of bothers me, or not too much, but... If they try to make this lore friendly, I really don't think it's going to work due to the fact that obviously in the Division universe the world has collapsed and in the Rainbow Six, which so there's no talk about them crossing over with Rainbow Six, but they, I feel like they might do it just to do it. But even in Splinter Cell, um, the world is still fine and nothing has been pretty much destroyed. And last time we saw Sam Fisher was from Rainbow Six, which a lot of you guys know this is when... He was shown last, and they haven't made a Splinter Cell game in quite a long time. A very long time, actually. I can't remember the last time we actually seen um, Sam Fisher in his own solo game. So it would be cool to see them actually release a new Splinter Cell game, or at least give Splinter Cell more love and release something on it. Hell, I'd even like them to add some more outfits that are Splinter Cell based like they did in Division 1. Um, but overall, I'm really excited to see exactly what this game is going to be, if it's going to be strictly PvP, or if it's going to be Division Mobile, like the Division Mobile game that's supposed to be on um, the roadmap. But at the same time, in this title, it says The Division Mobile. You know, and Battle Cat could be just a code name, or it could be actually the name of the game. And if it is a Division Mobile game, I feel like these characters would not cross over. It would be just a strict Division Mobile game. So potentially maybe this is being made by some other company and they're trying a new type of uh, method on, you know, making a new game. And like I said, um, maybe trying to see if they can make this game first person or if it'll succeed or if it'll fail. Uh, I'm really curious to see exactly how this is going to work. Uh, keep this in mind, these are all leaks. So if you want to see more stuff on this game, just type in the Division Battle Cat. There's multiple articles and photos released on it if you guys want to check it out. But overall, that's just my, you know, I guess my thoughts on this, what I think about it. I think it's a cool idea, but if they are going to do this, hopefully they do it right, and hopefully it's a very enjoyable game. 
um, you know, because I think there's a lot of potential if you're going to be crossing over characters like this, just from the fact they have very large skill sets and different types of skills they can use. And if they do this, this could be a very, very fun PvP game because I know a lot of players are wanting a new PvP division kind of game, even if it's not full on division, um, but if it has division agents in it, I know a lot of people are going to play it and a lot of people really love, you know, Ghost Recon and also Splinter Cell. Um, also, one more thing I will let you guys know because some people are going to be asking me about it. They did not show anything Division Heartland or Division 2 related at E3, so keep an eye out for it in the future. Uh, most likely, it will be at another Ubisoft panel or another Ubisoft Forward event, which could be, you know, maybe down the road, maybe in December, maybe even further, or Ubisoft or Massive Entertainment or Red Storm might just throw a trailer out. You never know. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in... Thank <laughs> you.